Hello guys, welcome back to Movie Recap Zone. A story begins at one evening under the drop of rain in South Korea. People call to tell an investigator named Young Koo to visit the scene of the murder. Because earlier, there was a man with a scary face killed Mr. Chu family without knowing why. And the corpse is in the most horrible condition. The killer dragged Mr. Chu out of the house near the warehouse to kill him. He was dragged back into the house and then killed by Chu's wife. While the police were conducting an autopsy, Jong Yu saw the relics hanging from a pillar. At the same time, another police named Sohak told a horrible story to Jong Yu. He said, One day, a man was going on an adventure in the forest, but he accidentally slipped and fell on the hillside. It's never been visited by anyone because it is a restricted area. As he tried to find his way back, he spotted a terrifying Japan man eating raw meat. This man is not normal he acts like a mummy or a zombie. Therefore, police Sohak suspects that the murder of Chu's family was linked to that Japanese man. But Mr. Yang Ku don't believe him. He thought it was just a legend that the villagers talked about from one to another. There is no clear evidence about it. At the same time, the electricity at the police station was cut off. Suddenly, a naked woman appeared, causing the two policemen to panic and almost pee their pants. Tomorrow, when he bangs his wife in the car, suddenly his daughter named Eugene came to ask to take her to buy some hair clips and look at the river together and went home. But at night time, there was a house fire that required Zhang Yu to investigate. When he arrived at the scene, the owner of the house and family suddenly jumped up and bit Zhang Yu and other police officers. But what is suspicious is that Zhang Yu saw a Japanese man standing nearby the scene. Police also arrested the woman and took her to a hospital. Zhang Yu's daughter is worried about her father when she hears that her father is injured. At that moment, he suddenly remembered that the woman who bit him was in fact the woman who appeared in front of the police station last night. Strange things also continue to happen. The next morning, a woman was found hanging herself to dead on a tree near the village. Mr. Zhang Yu went to do an autopsy, only to find out the fact that the woman was killed first and then hanged on a tree later, because he found a knife that has her blood on it. Zhang Yu went to have lunch at a restaurant near the village and asked the villagers about the woman. The owner of the restaurant said the woman was sexually abused, makes her crazy and kills herself like this. A man was fishing near the lake as she passed by. He grabbed her skirt stripped her cloth of and banged her several times on the rock until exhausted. Her back hurt and she screamed for help, but no one is around. Trying to scream and move until exhausted, with no choice, she lay down there and let the man bang her until she lost consciousness. Ying Yu and Sohak went to the house that caught fire yesterday. Zhang Yu told Sohak to go to office, let him stay here alone. A moment later Zhang Yu see another crazy woman named Mo Yang apparent near the house. She grabs a small rock and throw at him. Mo Yang tells him that the crazy women who bit him were the ones who started the fire and killed the whole family. Mo Yang said the woman was cursed by a witch. She asks Zhang Yu to look at the burning house, and she says women used to tell her that Japanese men wanted to bite and suck her blood. He is a monster. After learning that Zhang Yu had seen a Japanese man appear near the house, Mo Yang told him to be careful. The next target could be him. Zhang Yu immediately called back So Hak because he found a witness. Her name is Mo Yang. But after talking to So Hawk, Mo Yang disappeared. He tried to find her around the house, but he ends up saw a terrible thing that he could hardly believe his eye. He saw the Japanese man tearing Mo Yang's flesh and eating her alive. But thankfully it's just a dream. Tomorrow morning his daughter is very sick. Busy looking after his daughter caused Zhang Yu to work late. The boss blamed him for reporting yesterday about finding a witness, but missing her. Zhang Yu and Sohak also went to another witness. They went to a hunter's house who climbed a mountain and saw a Japanese man eating raw animal. He said, I swear I saw in both my eyes. He is not human. You cannot catch him. Sohak and Zhang Yu ask for the forest location. After reaching the forest, they had to walk a long way to reach the location. There they saw many animals' corpses being eaten by zombie man. At that moment, it started to rain. But the hunter was panicked and ran away. The two policemen trying to stop him causing him to fall down. When he woke up, he was struck by lightning, causing serious injuries. Both policemen rushed him to the hospital. Next to the hunter's bed was the bed of the man who killed Chu's family earlier in the story. At the same time, the man had seizures and died suddenly at the hospital, as if something was inside his body. Overwhelmed, he went out drinking together. But there he saw a woman with a rash on her body, similar to the rash on a man who had died earlier. By the time he got home, his daughter's condition seemed to be getting worse. She said a man came to see her at the afternoon. The next morning, his daughter began to eat five times more food and meat than usual. Her grandmother was very skeptical, but don't know what to do. Zhang Yu called his nephew for help. 
His nephew, Isan, knows how to translate Japanese, and he is also a priest. They climbed the mountain again and found the Japanese man's house. Outside the house was a large black dog. Zhang Yu broke the lock and entered the house, feeling very scared, because he saw more than two to three hundred photos of the victims on the wall. Outside, the dog bit Isan's leg. Both policemen tried to help but could not beat the dog. Suddenly, a Japanese man came to help, but he looks like normal human. Both police officers apologized to the man and go back home. Zhang Yu became even more suspicious when he saw his daughter's shoes at the Japanese man's house. Zhang Yu took the shoes and asked his daughter if she knew any Japanese men. But suddenly his daughter started yelling at him. He was very shocked. Because this does not seem to be his daughter. During the night, he went into Yu Jin's room to check. He found many of the paintings she drew to look scary. He also saw that his daughter's feet were itchy like that woman. Then she got up and shouted at him again. The next morning, Zhang Yu went to the Japanese man's house again, but he burned all the photos of the victims. The Japanese man also said that he came here just for a tour. But of course, Zhang Yu would never believe that. Zhang Yu was so angry that he shouted at the man and even expelled him from his country. But the Japanese man did not say a word. He didn't scare of Zhang Yu at all. Zhang Yu smashed a Japanese man's house and a black dog jumped up and bit Zhang Yu. Zhang Yu was so angry that he hit the dog with a stick, causing it nearly death. The man stood still and sat in front of his house next to the slain dog. Zhang Yu's wife took her daughter to the hospital but still did not know what the disease was. The next morning, the body of a black goat was hung in front of Zhang Yu's house. Zhang Yu began to feel unwell, so he sent his wife and mother to the hospital, leaving his daughter at a neighbor's house. When they returned, they found their daughter stabbing her neighbor, causing her to bleed profusely all over the house. Zhang Yu thought that all these things must have been done by the Japanese man. Because in that man's house there was something like a witchcraft. So, Zhang Yu invited a sorcerer to visit his house. The sorcerer smashed a jar near their house and saw a crow inside. The sorcerer begins a ritual to rid the monster of Yu Jin. Yu Jin act aggressive and shout to the sorcerer. <laughs> Zhang Yu tells the sorcerer that he suspects a Japanese man living in the mountains who did this to Yu Jin. At the same time, other police were reported to Zhang Yu that another family member had been found dead. The couple was stabbed and dropped into a well. The sorcerer said that if he did not stop a witch in this village, he would be killed. The Japanese man went to take a picture of the man's that he kills today and put him in a car, and he went to the market to buy a chicken. At night time the Japanese man went to practice witchcraft at a waterfall. Our sorcerers also performed rituals against Japanese men. He used swords and nails to cut wood several times. They'd the Japanese man and Yujin in great pain. The sorcerer almost finished the ceremony. But Zhang Yu ended his ceremony, because he could not bear to watch his daughter suffer. After that night's event is over, we also see Mo Yang came to sneak near the Japan man to see his pain. Zhang Yu takes his daughter to the hospital again. He then invited Isen Nig So Hawk to the Japanese man's house again. Upon arrival, the Japanese man disappeared and only saw pictures of the man he had killed in the house. A Japanese man ran to his car but could not find the body of the man he killed yesterday, because the man was resurrected and ran home. But he looks like a zombie. The zombie saw Young Yu's group. He ran to bite them. The zombie also bites Isan, Zhang Yu and So Hawk, trying to kill the zombies by throwing them in the head with rocks and using a machete to pierce their heads. But they still do not die. Shortly afterwards, the zombie died on its own. Like the man at the hospital. At that time, Young Yu saw Japanese men hiding and peeking at them nearby. So, they chased after the Japanese man until a waterfall. And he disappeared again. They thought maybe that the Japanese man had fallen off the cliff, but he just hiding and clinging to a rock. We also see Mo Young come to follow the Japanese man again. We don't know what she wants. The three men drove back home. The Japanese man see Mo Young and chase after her, but he was not careful. He fall from the mountain in front of Zhang Yu's car. They were terrified because they thought they had hit people to death. So, they lowered the body of the Japanese man under the ravine. As Mo Young watched them from the mountain, when he returned to the hospital, he found that his daughter had recovered a little. So, he brought her home. Sorcerer tried to call Zhang Yu but he refused to pick up the phone. As for Isan, he came to see a man who was suffering from this strange disease and even stabbed his mother to death. Isan thinks the Japanese man is dead, why is he still sick? Back to Sorcerer, when he went to see Zhang Yu at his house, he started vomiting blood from his mouth because Mo Yang is doing a witchcraft on him. He also performed witchcraft to protect himself. While driving, Mo Yang make him vomited blood again and nearly died in a car accident. Zhang Yu saw many missed calls. He decides to call him back, so the sorcerer tell him that the Japan man is a good witch. He trying to stop Mo Yang and help us from the zombie earlier. The bad witch is Mo Yang. 
Hearing this, he hurried home to find his daughter, but she disappears. At the same time Yi San also came to the Japan man's house again. Also, when trying to find Yu Jin instead he found Mo Yang. Mo Yang act like nothing happened. But Zhang Yu shouted at her. Where is my daughter? Mo Yang said the Japan man is not dying yet. Also, Yu Jin has a ghost inside her, she is still in the house. If Zhang Yu returns home now, she will die. The death of the Japanese man is useless. She also set a trap in front of Zhang Yu's house to kill the sorcerer. Because the sorcerer is a bad guy, she just trying to help Zhang Yu family. Shortly afterwards, Zhang Yu's mother and wife saw Yu Jin walking home. She is very hungry and eats things from the refrigerator, she is always looking at the knife. The sorcerer calls to tell Zhang Yu not to listen to Mo Yang, she is a bad witch. But Mo Yang also told him to don't trust Sosra, because Sorcerer and the Japan man is in the same team. Yi San arrives at the Japanese man's house and finds him alive. He thinks this is a monster, the Japan man laugh. Mo Yang told Zhang Yu to wait until morning. But he's scared he do not know which one to trust. He saw his daughter's hair clip fall out of Mo Yang's hand. So, he hurried home by not listening to Mo Yang caused Mo Yang's trap to disappear. When he got home, he saw only blood. His family is dead and only Yu Jin is left. In fact, the Japanese man was a real monster, and he even took a picture of Isan and did not let Isan go home. The sorcerer came to take a photo of Zhang Yu corpse's family. Now Zhang Yu is like a crazy man, because all of his family member die in just one night. So, after all Mo Yang is truly a good witch. She trying to help Zhang Yu family all along, but at the end she couldn't win the monster. And many more people in the village are continuing to die. Not all story end happy ending, just like in real life. So that's all for today video, subscribe and take care.